Hey guys and welcome, Alex here bringing you some Gears War Ultimate Edition gameplay. The game finally came out for people in the UK and Ireland. For some reason there was a, a four day delay between it uh, releasing in the US compared to UK and Ireland. I don't know why they did that, but either way though, the game has finally come out for everyone in the world, so we can all play. And uh, the first things first, I'm shit at this game. I'm really, really, really bad at this game. And uh, I apologize for it. I haven't played Gears of War since Gears of War 3, so I'm very rusty. And I was never too good at Gears of War, uh, the original. So, uh, you know, I'm getting back into it. And hopefully you'll see an improvement throughout this gameplay. The first round, I do pretty piss poor. The second round, I managed to bring it back and go on top of the scoreboard, which is pretty cool. Uh, this game is fantastic. If you played the original, you will love this game. Because it's basically the original polished over. It's got dedicated servers, 60 FPS, 1080p, brand new graphics, like, made from the ground up. This game is just fantastic. The graphics are so damn good. It looks like a Gears of War 3.5 in terms of graphics. And they've uh, remastered every single map in the game. And that's including DLC that you originally had to pay for in the original game. So there are just an unholy amount of maps that are all retextured. There's no old graphics and new graphics mixed into one. It's just brand new graphics and it looks so good and the sounds are so damn good if you're playing with astros or turtle beaches or even tritons um, or just any headset even bloody earphones you'll notice that the sound has been like revamped and it just it sounds so much more crunchier and meatier when you chainsaw a guy when you hear them blow up or you shoot them with a gnasher and you just see them fall to pieces it's just it's such a good sound and visually as well as with audio it, it just makes an amazing game and then with the original gears of war as well there was no dedicated servers, it was all host dependent, or um, P2P I think it's called. And uh, that kind of sucked, because either you lagged, or they were really OP in host, or else you had an OP host and they were lagging. Uh, it just didn't make an enjoyable game. Luckily though, they've managed to bring this onto the Xbox One with dedicated servers, and those servers are amazing. It is so damn good to play this game without lag. There were some points during the, the, uh, the first night of launch, where there was some lag, but there was like minor lag spikes, and it was probably my fault for someone going on YouTube or something like that on my house. Um, but just this game is fantastic. Even playing in um, co-op campaign or just um, multiplayer but private matches, even playing with those um, you know people in America and stuff like that, usually I'm used to having a two-second um, delay in lag in the campaign when playing with other people in like Halo or something like that. In this game, there was no lag whatsoever. I don't know if they have dedicated servers for a cop campaign or else the net coding is just that good, but there was no lag whatsoever. It felt like I was playing solo, which was just fantastic. In a nutshell, if you like the original game, get this game. It's probably the best game to have come to Xbox One this year, and that's including all the betas I've played and all that stuff. I know I shouldn't um, com make a comparison between uh, gold games that are finished and refurbished and all that jazz, and um, you know betas, but you know in terms of gameplay, I just I love this game so much. It's so damn good. And watch this nasty two piece. That's awesome. Uh, the guy I'm playing with, by the way, I can't tell his game tag unfortunately. Uh, it's the guy to my left there. The guy playing is called Train with the Clownfish uh, weapon skins. He bought an Xbox One just for Gears of War Ultimate Edition. I mean, that, that shows, like, dedication to a fucking game. I'm pretty sure a lot of other people have done that too, or at least they bought it for Halo, Master Chief Collection, as well as, you know, Gears of War. I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna pick this game up anyway, and if you don't, you're missing out. Um, there was a bit of controversy on Twitter um, the other day about if Gears of War is gonna stay relevant, or if it's gonna go stale in a couple of weeks or a month or two. I really don't see it going stale. Like, this game is fantastic if you play it like they, they should release like some sort of demo where you can play for a weekend or something like that because they would generate so many more people who are kind of skeptical about buying a uh, remastered game all in all though this game is just fantastic i absolutely love it um as you can see you know i'm not that great at this game i'm not used to using a gears of war one nasher i'm used to firing from the barrel instead of um, i think it's the center of the screen in gears of war um the original but either way though, I'm, I'm, I'm not that great. And I don't consider myself a major Gears head. Like, I love the game, I love the franchise and the campaign as well as the multiplayer. But I'm not really good at it. Because at heart, I'm a Halo player. But hopefully you guys will see a lot more gameplay from me. Uh, maybe even a progression in how I get better and um, kind of work towards just becoming a better player. Uh, either way though, this has been my first gameplay that I'm going to upload of Gears of War Ultimate Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.